What's up guys, today we're going to be going over Vampire the Masquerade Swang Song trailer. Let me just say that overall, this trailer is beautifully rendered, okay? Starting off with the trailer, we have a guy with blood on his face and he wipes it off. Um, the hand animation is nice, however, you don't feel the contact of the hand with the face. And the reason for this is that there's no facial animation. They could have had, you know, move the mouth over a little bit, had the skin pulling, show the impact of the nose, that everything's connected, but there's nothing. So all it feels like is that he's just moving his hand, that it's not actually making impact with his face until you see that the blood is smeared. I don't know what happened there, but they definitely need to fix that because that, that just really triggered me when I saw it. The next shot is a guy moving what seems to be a pamphlet across the table. Uh, once again, the hand animations are beautifully done in this trailer. Uh, you have a great contrast of lines, so his hands curl up coming into frame, they straighten when touching the pamphlet, and they curl up again going out of frame. It's very subtle, very nice, beautifully done. So the next shot we have is this girl in the room who's shooting up. Uh, I wish they could have broken up the twinning on her face a bit, because if you see her face, there's really just a subtle difference between the left eyebrow and the right eyebrow. The rest of the face is the same, same posing. Um, there's even more twinning when it comes to her wincing, right? So everything seems to happen at the same time. Her head goes down as the face tenses up, eases up a bit in that pose. You got a little bit of a moving hold. Then everything eases up as she raises her face and opens her eyes. Everything just seems to happen at the same time. There's no breaking up. It's a lot of twinning going on. Uh, it seems as if the person who animated the hands didn't animate the face or either the person who animated the hands just isn't good with facial animation. The next shot I wanted to bring up was this girl in the car who's looking at this pamphlet. So her body is completely frozen. Like it doesn't move at all. The only thing that's moving is her head and it moves just ever so slightly. I wish uh, they could have added a secondary action with the hands to show maybe an irritation or anticipation, just a, sh a chance to show some, some acting, some character, some insight as to what she's experiencing, what she's feeling. It's nicely rendered, but as far as animation goes, it's extremely limited. This then brings us to her putting on her lipstick or her lip gloss. Uh, once again, nicely rendered, but I, there's no color change on the lips. I do see the impact of the lipstick or the lip gloss going on her lips, but that's it. This now leads us to my favorite shot of the trailer, and that is gonna be the hand pressing this elevator button. Uh, you really feel the pressure of him pressing the button by, by the, his hand curling up as it settles in. The hand animations, I just have to say, are 10 times better than the facial ones. Overall, as I said before, that the trailer looks beautifully rendered. The animation is a little bit lacking here and there, but there are some good shots, like I said about the elevator shot. Uh, that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, keep animating.